Welcome back. This episode is all about how to claim tax sale overages. I can assure you, you will have a big surprise before I finish this video. Now, my name is Ted Thomas. I've been involved in tax liens and tax deeds for approximately 30 years. I spent the last 25 years or so teaching other people how to do it. So I have thousands of clients around the world in English speaking countries that learn how to do this online. I'll tell you more about that as I go along. But today's episode is all about how to claim tax sale overages. So first I better explain what tax sale overages are all about. So you'll know that how to do it and then you can start making money that way too. A lot of ways to make money in this business. I'm always surprised at the how many people come up with unusual questions and most people don't even know about tax sale overages. And when you finally do know about it, which is going to be today, you're going to have a lot of insider information. So stay tuned and I'll come right back. In the past few years, I've been conducting three-day workshops for many, many years. And while I do those three-day workshops, we usually in the past would take the class and we would actually split the class. And the class would be split. Let me show you that in a graphic form. So we'd take half of the class and they would come with us into the classroom and the other half of the class would take them in mass, like you see the picture there, we'd take them through the county records. Now, why did we do that? Because the county records have a lot of information and I'm gonna show you a lot about that in the next few minutes. So we couldn't take a couple of hundred people through the records, but we could take 50 and 100 at a time. And the people really learned a lot. So that was one of the highlights of, of the class that we, the classes that we had. Now I'm gonna to go to camera two just to show you a book that I created about that. And you guys can see this book and I'll just slide it under the camera. It says, Ted Thomas Unlo Unlocking the Mysteries of the County Records. That actually comes with some DV, some CDs. I wrote it a long time ago. I'm not going to rewrite it, but the point is, uh, this is a subject that you should spend a little time studying. All right, but right now we're going to talk about how to claim the overages on tax sales. All right, now this is going to be very, very interesting to all of you. Uh, we would take people to the county records so they would know that they could learn all this there and learn the different steps that go on. So the public records are all real-time information. Nowadays, people like to do that online. That's okay with me, but most people just do the surface. They really don't dig into it. So you need to start thinking about digging into it. Now, how are you going to dig into it? Well, there's lots of classes that can be done on that, but you need to start thinking about it and you're going to learn about how to claim these tax sale overages, okay? Now, the laws in all of the states, the individual states can make their own law. Now, who makes the law? The legislature does that. And the legislature, number one, says, all right, everyone has to pay taxes in our state. Number two, they pass all that information down to the county. And they tell the county treasurer, or first of all, they start with the board of commissioners or the board of supervisors, and they simply say, look, we want the taxes to be levied, we want them to be collected, and if they can't be collected, we want you to seize the property and sell it. Now, let me say those again. They're going to levy the tax. They're going to try to collect it. If they can't collect it, they are going to seize the property. Now, the county doesn't want any more property, so they're going to resell that property at auction. Now, when they resell the property at auction, this is the opportunity for you to make a lot of money at tax deed auctions because they're going to start at a low price, and the value might be quite high. For example, they might start at back taxes of say 10,000, but the property is worth 100,000. Wouldn't you like to buy it at 10,000? Well, of course you would. Then you would have a lot of margin to resell it, or you'd have a lot of equity in the property. The point is, this is happening every day in America. 5,000 auctions. Now, I don't make the rules here. The legislature makes the rules, puts them into a statute, sends them down to the county level and the county treasurer, county tax collector, county officials hold this auction. Now the auctions can be on the courthouse steps, they could be announced in the newspaper, they could be announced online, but those are public auctions. That means you can go to that. You don't need Ted Thomas, you can just go on your own. Now, if you want to learn how to be an expert at those auctions, well you'll probably attend one of my classes. But if you want to go on your own, you can go and observe and you'll learn a little bit about it. So what am I covering today? I'm going to show you how to claim the overages on tax auctions. Now, what's the overage? Well, I said the property's worth 100000 
and this tax auction started at 10,000, what if it sells for 20? Well, the difference between the 10 and 20 is over the tax amount. I wonder who gets that money. I bet you'd like to know who gets that money too. It could be you if you learn how. Okay, so we're learning how to claim tax sale overages, all right? Now, it's possible here to make big money at tax auctions. It's also possible to make big money on tax sale overages. Now, you need to learn this. It's a step-by-step -step process. Forget about all the hype you see on television that you're going to get rich overnight. You're not. This is a little bit of work, but the overages are sitting there at the county, and they have been sitting there ever since the auction. So let's spend a few minutes learning how to do a little bit of that research. Now, I basically showed you a book a minute ago. I'm going to show you another one now. And you see it says Florida. Then let me slide it, make sure it comes on camera. I'm just stretching to see. Public Records Guide. All right, most counties will have a public records guide. Now, this is not a pamphlet. This is the real deal, folks. This is a public records guide that, uh, look, we've got the most re recent volume. This volume, I'm going to show you how thick it is. This volume, there you get some idea how thick it is. Look at that book. We'll tell you all about the county records. So none of this is hidden from you. This is a book anybody can order. You can order that, and you can read about what I'm going to talk about. But So I'm going to give you the nitty-gritty not the television version where you're going to get rich by Friday. I'm going to give you the nitty gritty so you kind of understand it. So what I'm telling you, most people have no idea because all they heard was the hype. So if you want to be successful, you're going to have to think about those public records. Now stay on camera too, Lance. And remember, I actually wrote the book on this years ago. All right. Now what I'm telling you is you're going to need the book that you see now if you want to get into it. It's free. I don't care if you buy it. I mean, if you get it, you don't have to buy it, is my point. All right, so if you're going to be successful, you have to do your homework. This is not easy, I can assure you of that. All right, so what we're trying to learn is how to claim those overages. So get started, get an auction list. On the auction list are properties that property owners forfeited. Now, let me say it again. On the auction list are properties that the property owner has forfeited. You see, if you don't pay your property tax, you automatically forfeit your privilege to have property in that county. Now, the county's responsibility, remember, the legislature makes the law. They pass the law down to the county supervisors or board of commissioners. I don't know what you have, but you have one or the other. And they tell the county commissioners, levy the tax, try to collect the tax. If you can't collect it, seize the property. All right, so now you're up to speed. So those properties are at that auction, and they're on the list, and those people have forfeited that property to the county. All right, so the county's responsibility, as you can see on the slide, is to, number one, seize the property because, they, in other words, confiscate it. And then what they're going to do is they're going to resell the property to the highest bidder. Now, anybody can go to an auction. Anybody who wants to go can go to that auction. All right, so when the highest bidder buys it, they are perfectly happy because that's what they bid. All right, now, if a property is worth 100000 and the bidding started at 10000 but it's sold at 20000 well, there's some over the bid, isn't there? So the buyer gets the property at 20000 They get the property without a mortgage. That makes them pretty happy. Now, if they pay $0.20 cents on the dollar and it's worth $0.10 cents on the dollar, they are happy. You would be happy, too. All right, that's usually where the auction ends for most people. Aha, what about that $10,000? What happens to that? Well, that was an overage. It was over and above the tax amount. So the question is, what's going to happen? Well, let's review some of these rules and some of the concepts. We understand that the owner failed to pay the property tax. We understand the county has confiscated the property. Now, we also understand that a bidder has overpaid. In other words, paid more than the taxes. I said you could go get a list of all those properties so that you would know and you could go to the auction. Nothing's to keep you from doing that. It's going to be in the newspaper. It's going to be on the county. It's also going to be on the county website. All right. So the county has authorized that sale. This is all perfectly legal. Anybody can, anybody can get a tax list. It's free. All right. So now you know there's going to be an auction. So you could go to the auction. So let's just go to the auction and have an example, okay? So a tax overage is what we're covering today, okay? You want to know how to claim the money. So I'm going to show you how to claim the money. All right. All right. So the tax assessed value on the property at auction was about 75000 I don't know what the market value is, but we got a tax value. All right. Okay. So the auction will start at the back taxes. So very close to that. All right. However, someone else bids it up. They're willing to pay 45000 for the property. 
well, that wasn't a steal, but whoever bought it, it might be the guy next door, he might be very happy. He now has a $75,000 property and he is the only owner for 45. So he might be very happy. But now look at the bottom line. It says the overage is $40,000. What's going to happen to that overage? And that's why you're here. So now we're going to cover that overage right now. So the county sold, they got the money in. What are they going to do with the money? They got the full 45,000. So the treasurer and the tax collector are going to pay the taxes. That leaves them $40,000. $40, it leaves them $40,000. Now at that point in time, as far as I know, the county makes no or little or no effort to send that money to the delinquent property owner. They make no effort to do that. The county just goes quiet and they keep the $40,000. They keep the $45,000 and if the previous owner does not come in and claim it, does not come in and say they want the money, well, what's going to happen to that money? It's going to a sheet to the state. It's going to a sheet to the state. Now, what on earth does that mean? That simply means the county has the money. It's like a gift, right? The county has this gift of $40,000, so they hold on to the money two, three, four years. Now, I'm not an attorney. I don't know the statutes, very, but I know the county's going to hold it for two or three years, and if they no one comes in to collect it, it's going to be confiscated by the county and the state. In other words, the $40,000 is now a gift to the county because nobody came in and claimed it. Well, the marketplace isn't always that way. So before I go further, I'm not an attorney, I'm not a CPA, I'm not a real estate broker, I'm an author and a publisher, and I'm a, just a prepared investor to buy at tax auctions. So I'm basically a lay person like you are, buying at these auctions and passing on information. So let me do a quick review. The county had an auction. Someone came in and paid more than the taxes. So the county takes the taxes and pays the taxes. Now, that takes the property off the delinquent tax roll and puts it on the honorable tax law. Honorable means those are the people that always pay their tax. That's what the county loves because they need money every single month. All right, now, with that in mind, they got $40,000. The $40,000, just like it says there on the screen, it says it is sheets to the state. All right, that means the county's just going to keep that money. Well, so you said to yourself, Ted, just tell me how to collect that money. Well, all right, so you want to make some inroads onto claiming that money. So what you would have to do is you would have to be an educated investor. You'd have to locate the delinquent taxpayer, and then together with that taxpayer, you'd have to go claim the forfeited money because you see the taxpayer forfeited their property when they didn't pay the tax. All right, so could you two get together? Maybe so. I wouldn't call them up and say, I got the money because you don't, but maybe you could make some agreement where you could share it. So in most instances, what will really take place is some savvy people will find out that that taxpayer somewhere, they go search them out, like a skip tracer would do. They'll find that person, see if they can make a deal, and then together they go to the county and collect that money. And of course the finder is going to get a piece of that action. Now some finders get 50% of that action. All right, so let's go back up and look. 50% of what? Well, we can go back here and find out. 50% of $40,000 would be a nice reward for finding that person and making a deal. All right, am I trying to sell you on the concept? No. I'm just trying to get you to understand what happens to tax sale overages. All right, I've been in this business for decades, and I know that there's some, some savvy investors, some wise old owls out there doing this. I don't have time to do it because I have a business, and my business is to teach people about tax liens, tax defaulted properties, and you can learn this, and I'm going to assure you it's not a nightmare. It's all in the public records. So let me go back to my, my second camera and you'll see the book. I just showed another one show in Florida right now. Most counties are required by their state to have a book that tells you how to do things, okay, at the county records. So in our, in our classes in the past, we would always run a class and we ran the class with 100, 200 people in it. We'd take half the people through the county records. Now people want to move quickly and they're passing up a huge amount of business. Now, keep in mind, the county employees are not your employees. The county employees work for the county. That means they can give you limited amounts of information. 
but I showed you a minute ago when I went to camera number two, you're allowed to get a lot of information if you know what to ask. Now, should you expect those county employees to help you find 20,000 or 40 or 50,000 or 100,000? No. Okay. Some of those people might be a little resentful. The majority are good people and you can talk to them and they'll help you if you know what you're talking about. If you talk about what you just learned on this video, it's not going to be enough. But there you can, via the reports I've showed you, you can go ahead and request information. I'm Ted Thomas and if you go below me, there's a place where you can get a free gift. I'll see you on the next video.